Rob is the 28th anniversary of the release of the movie White Men Can't Jump. Now, there are a lot of things that might make you feel old, but that's got to be one of them, right? I can't. 28 years? <laughs> 28 I mean, years. What? 28 years. And the only the only bad thing, according, uh, especially when it comes to Lee, when it comes to uh, Steve DeSager, and when it comes to uh, Alex, is that it still applies even 28 years <laughs> later to them. <laughs> no, Alex? Nothing. Oh, look at oh, that. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to put you on front straight with that answer. You're 6'4", right? Yes. Could you dunk? Once. You did dunk, though. Okay. Yep. Fake so news. You did. Okay. But now, that's it. Like, I don't like, know like, people, I if they like, believe it. No, like, you know how you gear up to make the one, but I couldn't dunk consistently. I, I didn't right. play enough. Right. But I did right. dunk the basketball one time. Like, I tried, I tried, and I did it. All right. I could dunk, but I couldn't dunk consistent enough to ever try it in a game. That's what I was going to say. I in games on the playground, but not, you know what I mean? But not like, in a game where you're no. that confident you could yeah. go up and, and dunk it. I would have missed, probably, because I'd make about three out of ten. <laughs> you know? well, that ain't good enough. Right, Not right. to do it in front of a crowd. No, 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 no. All right, so anyway, I had a bright idea with this being the anniversary of that movie. Great movie, by the way. Really good movie. Those of you young young kids out there, I'm guessing the, the among our millennial fans who are basketball fans, I, I'm guessing they saw it. So if you haven't by chance, you got to go check it out. We got plenty of time right now with the um, the virus shutting everything down. So check it out if you're looking for a movie to see. It's a really if, good movie. If they made that movie now, it would, would probably... Would they be able to? You think there'd yeah, be problems? It would be called uh, Melanin Deficient <laughs> Men Can't Jump. <laughs> <laughs> right. right, they they would have to come up with right. some type of politically else. correct answer, right? Yeah, it's unfortunate, but uh, great movie anyway. But it got me to thinking, Rob. What are the best or 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 our favorite? What are our favorite sports movies? And so I'm thinking, give me your five favorite sports, not just basketball, but sports movies. Of all time. You give me yours. We'll talk about your list. And then I'll give you mine. But I want to hear your top five favorite sports movies of all time. Well, you know, obviously, I I love baseball. So, right. Most of my favorite. Start from five. All right. Most of mine would be baseball. I I get all the uh, Rocky and a lot of people love uh Remember the Titans, Chris, right? That's another yep. one and all yep. those movies. But I, I, I hate to break it to you. My top ten will – my top oh, five – oh. t- Top five, top five would all be uh, baseball. Wow. Yep. All of them. Wow. Okay. I, Rocky, Rocky was too predictable for me. Uh, I, I know it's a good movie. A lot of people love Rocky. Classic. It'd probably be yeah. a most – it's a classic movie. Don't get me wrong. All right, but I'll give you my uh, my top five. Number five. Major League. <laughs> okay. Number okay. four. Uh, the Natural. Okay. Number three. Uh, 42. Number yes. two, which was, was Jackie Robinson's yes. story, it was great. Yes. It was it was really well done, Chris. Really yep. well done. Uh, number two, here's here's one. Robert De Niro started starred in this. This is from the late '60s, Chris, and I watched it a couple times as a kid. You know, late night television, yeah. And it really stuck with me. And I might have mentioned it to you before. It's called Bang the Drum Slowly. You and have it's about, mentioned it. Yeah, it's about a pitcher and a catcher. And I think the catcher has some sort of disease and is dying. And the pitcher is the star pitcher on the team. And he makes him his personal catcher in order to keep the guy in the major leagues and keep him alive. You know what I mean? Like right. on the team. Is it it's a, a hard, true story? I, I, I don't think it's a true story, but it's a heartwarming, you know, like one of those stories that you, like a Brian song kind of right, movie. Right. But it was baseball. Bang the right. drum slowly. Number and, one. Uh, number one, Feel the Dreams. I mean, that was... I saw that movie with a buddy of mine from grad school uh, named Mac, and he lived in St. Louis, and obviously 
baseball, great baseball town. I saw that movie in St. Louis, and it still sticks to me to this day. It's a great movie, baseball or not. There's something special about it. So there, there would be my top five movies. Wow. Not you know good movies, major league obviously. Uh, funny right? The that comedy. Was a funny yes, movie. yes, yeah, that, that was, was a really funny. good movie. And Field of Dreams, of course, is a classic. Yep. Um, but some of the we, other ones are off the beaten path. Yeah. Uh, did you see? You saw Forty Two, right? Yes. I, and what and, I and loved to be about honest, that in putting together my list, I had forgotten about Forty Two. I'm not gonna put it back in. Right, but, but you forgot that could be in my list. That was a great movie. And Chris, the thing I liked about it was they kind of combined some stuff, so it wasn't all about the hatred that he saw. We got to see Jackie Robinson. As a person, the sports right. writer who also took it on his uh, took on the challenge of making sure Jackie got out there and did the right things. I mean, it it was a really interesting. And then they kind of put all the hate in one scene, and it was very right. hard to watch. Right. And uh, a buddy of mine who happens to be white took his two kids, his two boys, and they're like ten or eleven, Chris, in that age. And they sat there, and they just they, they they kept saying to their father, "I don't. Why can't he play? Like they could, they, they just couldn't, couldn't comprehend. Right. They couldn't comprehend why he wasn't allowed to play." And he said, "It just it, it 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 said a lot about the kids and where their head was, but they had no clue." Right, right, yeah. No, nah, that was a great movie, tremendous movie. I I don't have any baseball movies in my top five, <laughs> so. Uh, 42 could have been, you know, that's one that could have snuck in there. I will say that, but I'm not going right, to put let's it hear in your five. for I'm now. Five. I, I I'm remember not a baseball, remember a baseball movie. I'm just going to bring this out to you. I went to see as a kid with my family and I loved it and it was good. And then I watched it as an adult. As a kid, I loved it. I watched Is it as an Richard adult. Pryor? Yes, Bingo Long it. and the Traveling All Star. I knew, I, I knew with that Billy was what you were going to say. Williams, yes. Richard Pryor. It was really good, but I watched it as an adult later, and it was it wasn't as good as I had remembered. They, they were like the Harlem Globetrotters of baseball. Yes, yes, that's what it was. It was yes. a really good movie. It was. I good. got it, Chris. But yeah, it might in time it, it it doesn't hold up. Right, right. So anyway, at number five, number five, Coach Carter. Okay. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. I, I I liked that movie. It was a really based on a true story too. About and, uh, a about a guy and isn't it New, Newark, New Jersey? Richmond, Richmond, no. Rich, you thinking of Lean on Me? Oh yeah, but that's very, the other one. I'm it's sorry. like the basketball version of right. Lean on Me. You're right. It was this coach in Richmond, California, near Oakland, and uh, so Coach Carter's number five. Number four. Remember the Titans? You mentioned I knew it. it. Yep. You mentioned it, and that was obviously a tremendous movie. Um, I'm surprised it's uh, at number four. It's lower on my list. Number this one's three. gonna shock you. I got my comedy in there, but I, I'm a you know Rob. You might be surprised, but I'm a romantic too. Oh, I, I I'm shocked by that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're if you're really being sarcastic no, or if I'm you really sh- think no, you, I, really. you you believe I'm a romantic. I, love in basketball. No, that 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 was a really good movie. I saw that in the movies on a day. I love that movie, man. I don't it, I don't even know what it is about. I just love that movie. I'm not the type that watches movies over and over again. You know, some people they'll they'll buy a movie and watch it, you know, every month or so or you know what I mean? I'm oh. not really that type of guy. There are a handful of movies I can watch over and over again, but not many, and loving basketball is one. I don't, I'm not, I don't watch it a ton, but whenever I catch it on TV, I sit down and watch it. I'm never like, oh, I don't want to watch this. I saw it already. Like, I, I love that movie. So, ask that, number that, three. That's a, that, that's a really good one. I number did two. I am going to go with the Rocky series just because it's such a classic, and, and obviously there are many classics, but – I love the movie, number one. But also, I mean, Rocky 1 was tremendous. Rocky 2 was tremendous. Rocky, th- the first three I thought were great. Four was still good when Apollo Creed got killed and, and J- Ivan, Ivan Drago, you know, was the one Rocky had to beat. But but, but obviously it declined from there. Um, but... I, it was. It's just was a great movie and series, and and even now he's. It, you're right. Now they've become incredibly predictable. I mean, you always knew he was going to win, right? But they but really just, become predictable with Creed. 
It's the Creed is just Rocky in in with with Apollo's son is the boss. Right. <laughs> That's, That's exactly what it is. it is. Right. So, but I still I got to give props to props to Rocky at number 2. Number 1. When we were kings. Did you ever see that? It was it's it was almost it wasn't like a straight documentary, but it was kind of a documentary. It was basically they followed Muhammad Ali as he prepared in Zaire for his fight with George Foreman, the rumble in the jungle. And then they took, you know, obviously Ali won the fight and, you know, just the aftermath. It I, it was a tremendous movie. I'm an Ali fan. I'm a boxing fan. Right. And uh, I love, did you ever see that? Yes, I did. Yeah, I, I thought that movie was tremendous. And that's one, of course, that I can watch over and over again. So, so those are my five, Rob. Coach Carter, remember the Titans, loving basketball, Rocky, and when we were kings. So yeah, two you're, boxing, you're, three basketball. Your your list is probably more uh you know, more what most people would say. You know, I think I told you I just love baseball so much, so mine is all baseball. I don't even even have Pride of the Yankees on that. A lot of older guys would have that movie. That's a great movie. Well, Bull Durham. Bull Durham is a another lot of people one. Would have, if there's certainly a lot of people that would be in their baseball top five. Yep. But see, because I have that bang the drum slowly, which nobody right. would have, and I think that's what always upsets my apple cart is because that one slips in there, and I have it at number two. That's how much it had an impact on me as a kid. How how old were you it. when you watched it? I would say like in the early 70s, you know, like 73, 74, so I was right. nine or ten. So did you see it as an adult, or have you seen yeah. it as an adult? Yeah, I have. Okay. And it still okay. holds up. So but it held but up, it was, yeah. Yeah, I saw it, and, and I just got – it really stuck with me. And I could, they played at Chase Stadium. I can remember all the stuff about it, but it was Robert De Niro, and it's early on if you want to Google it. And I think it's either 1968 or 1970 or something like that. It's around that time. All right. Well, you heard my list. You heard Rob's list. We want to hear your list. 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Give us your top five. You got to do it quickly, but give us your top five sports movies of all time. We will continue the conversation with you next. Is Chris and Rob, The Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. Be sure to catch live editions of The Odd Couple with Chris Broussard and Rob Parker weekdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox Sports Radio and the iHeartRadio app. All right, it's the Odd Couple, Chris and Rob, on a funky flashback Friday. Sounds of the Gap Band bringing Alex, us in. Thank you. You you got this song for my my five sports movie list, right? That is exactly it, Rob. That it's outstanding. Is this? Oh, it's outstanding. <laughs> I was about to say, this wasn't in any of those movies. No, no, ah! no. It it had a better chance of being in my movies than in yours. Oh wow. yeah, you know that. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> you know, right. Hey, one thing about me, I'm not predictable. I'm all no, over the place. No, I. you are absolutely right about that. All right, 877-99 on Fox. What are your top five sports movies of all time? Let's hear your list. And you got to go through it quick. Don't, don't, right. you know, go, don't take forever. We want to get as many people on. Let's start with Mark in Virginia. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Mark? Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, here we go. Number five. Number five. The Brian Piccolo story. Yep. Uh, one of you. Yep. One of you. Uh, that's correct. One of you indicated this at, uh, viewing it the second or third time later. It didn't hold up. But you know what? I think the the reason they should all hold up is how you felt when you watched them originally. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, Bull Durham. Oh okay. yeah. Uh, Field of Dreams with a very young Ray Liotta. Yes. Right. Okay, that was interesting. I'm getting the details there. That that makes it interesting in in and of itself. Um, And uh, did I say Bull Durham? Yes. Four. And uh, now we go to Hoosiers. Okay. I I will say one little... One last thing. I actually uh, remember the Titans, remember, right? Remember the Titans, yeah. Uh, I, a little uh, uh, fiction, in fact, from Mark's Almanac. I live in the town that uh, T.C. Williams played in that game, and for some reason, they did. The colors were correct. They played a team called Andrew Lewis. This was in the days, though, where they didn't have the different divisions in high schools, 
And T.C. Williams was five times the size of Andrew Lewis, which is in Salem, Virginia. And although it, it is a, you know, it is a true story, the linebacker was crippled uh, later on, went into the Paralympics, won but, gold there. But Mark, you know how it is. They have a yeah, pole- poetic license. It. You know that, right. right? In Hollywood, right. I always say that uh, it's like the Ten Commandments. They're in Egypt, and everybody's white. Right, right exactly. <laughs> they don't look anything like Egyptians. I, I was going to say, have you ever been to Egypt? <laughs> like I, Irish people more than as, Egyptians. As hot as it is there, ain't no way you got pale white skin. No, no, no. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. All right, but Eric. You're right. That's Hollywood. <laughs> Eric in Oregon, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Hey, good evening, fellas. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, hey, I'm just going to give you one real quick, all right? Okay. So okay. I'm, a, I'm a millennial. I'm 32. I was a 90s kid and a t- 2000 teen. And for us, Sandlot all day. Yes, a lot of people love that movie, Sandlot. Yeah, that movie, that, I, that I didn't great. even see it. Did you see it, Rob? No, I'm another but one I've of those, heard, Chris. Yeah, it is. For millennials, it's like a classic. It's a classic I, 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 for I'll them. Probably try, I'll probably try to watch it soon. I need so. to watch it, yeah, yeah. While, I'm, uh, uh, while we're cooped up. How about Andre in Massachusetts? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got? Yeah, thanks for taking my call. Five for, uh, number five for me has to be the entire 30 for 30 cannon, all of them. Ooh. Four, Mighty Ducks. Three okay. is going to be Fill the Dreams. Great choice, uh, uh, Rob. You know, at, at yes. the time you say there will be other days. Great choice there. Two is going to be Rocking. Number one hoop movie for me of all time has to be Hoop Dreams. Uh, Steve James basically uh, – Set the, the 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 bar years ahead, you know, for all these great sports documentaries. Uh, when we were kings, good selection there, uh, Chris uh, Ali Boumaye. Uh, but for me, it's got to right. be Hoop Dreams. All, all right, right, Hoop Dreams. That's dreams. another yep. one. Yep, that was good. How about Andrew in Minnesota? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Andrew? Hey guys, uh, yeah, I'm from Northern Minnesota, so I had to get some hockey movies on your I list. I already here. knew that, and and, <laughs> and what, right. I already knew that. Go ahead, let's hear it. Uh, number five, I got Young Blood with uh, Young Rob Lowe. Okay. Uh, okay. Number four, I, I got that. the whole Slapshot series. And Slapshot was a good movie, right there. I love that. Yep. Uh, number three, I got Friday Night Lights. That was uh, great. One of my I, favorites. I, I had to fight hard to keep that off. I love it. Yeah. Movie. Yeah, that's a that good number cool. two for me would have been Remember the Titans, but I changed it since you guys already said it to uh, Angels in the Outfield. I loved that one when I was a oh, kid. Yes. Okay. And then uh, number one, keeping a hockey theme, got to go with the best, uh, one of the best American sports stories ever with Miracle uh, by mm. Disney. Oh, no yeah. doubt about That's it. That's a great one. Reliving the whole, uh, and remember that that game, the Miracle, that wasn't even a championship. Remember that? That was the. Uh, right. Uh, you know, Rob, I almost put a base, one baseball movie I almost put on my list, but as I mentioned more movies, I just couldn't get in the top what, five was what Bad it? News Bears. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> as a you know kid, what? I don't know that's how my, hold it was up. fun. It was a fun as movie. As a kid, I loved it. What? There was about three of them. Yeah, and but the, every, but the I, first one great. was great. The first right. one was Right, but the other, I thought the other ones held up too. At least the first two when the they played two, in the Astrodome. Right. Second and, one was right. right. They played in Astrodome. And then the third yeah. one was a little too much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about Dennis in Evansville? Uh, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Dennis? Hey guys, look, looks like a lot of mine have been been picked over, but I'll go from the bottom up. Uh, number okay. five, ten, ten cup, love ten cup. Okay. Ten cup golf uh-huh. movie. Yeah, four miracle. Uh, three, I actually think this was one of the better boxing movies over Rocky and even Raging Bull. And that's Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe. Mm. Mm. I didn't see that. I never saw that. that I need to see that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, good good movie. And then two Hoosiers, obviously, being from Indiana, we got to throw them in there. And number one, I had Friday Night Lights. Yep. That's yeah, a, that's hard to argue with both great. of those. Hoosiers yeah, is Hoosiers, another one. Right, Hoosiers, yeah, it's a classic. I saw, no, that, yeah. I saw that in the movie theater as well. That was another one. That was oh, that was, awesome. that was uh, awesome. Let's go with uh, Fred in Virginia. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What you got, Fred? Hey, man, you guys got a great show, great show. You're heading for the Hall of Fame, just like that was Mike guys from the other network, man. Keep wow. up the great work. Love this show. Thank you, Thank man. you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm going to start with number five, this sentimental favorite, Bad News Bears, the original one with Walter okay. Mathis. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yep. That's, yep. A, That's a great movie. I'm glad, I'm glad movie. somebody put that on the list because yep. that was great. Yeah. Number four, I'm going with Creed. I like wow. that's a newer you version of the, of the Rocky How? one, but it's great. Not the second one, the first one. How, How old, old are, are you? you? I'm 54. I'm a little wow, younger than wow. you, Rob. All right, a little bit. A <laughs> I'm little bit. shocked. Though. I mean, look, Creed was a nice little movie, but I'm shocked you got it in your fourth. top five. Yeah. All right. What else All you right, got? But go ahead. It's your list. All right, number three. 
I think somebody already said it. Brian Song, that was just that's a classic. All right. You got to yep. have that in there. Number two, I'm surprised you didn't mention this, Rob. I think this is better than 42. Soul of the Game. I think it was made for HBO. It was it was a story about the Negro League and, and, and uh, Satchel Page and Josh Gibson. Yeah. And it, and, I and, remember and how that. those it guys didn't get table. in. Yeah. And yeah. it had Blair yeah. Underwood playing uh, uh, Jackie, Jackie Robinson. That, right, that, right. I thought that was outstanding. Outstanding. Did you see 42? Right. That, that was, was just, yeah, yeah. But Fred, yeah, did you see good. 42? Yeah, I did. I thought Soul okay. of the Game was better. Okay. No, so I'm just, I, I'm just I, mean, I, but, but I thought yeah. Blair wasn't, wasn't as good as the dude at 42, but I the thought guy, the guy, would... I forgot the guy's name who played uh, Jackie Robinson in 42. the guy that played... Uh, um, he was unbelievable. In, in Rwanda, in, you know, Rwanda. Or, yeah. Um, oh, he was unbelievable Wakanda, Jackie. Black Panther. Yeah, he looked Panther. like Jackie Robinson in that movie. Yeah, yeah. 